I wanted to share a quick method for dividing a page layout into an odd number of columns. Very often what happens in uh, publication design is that we end up defaulting to a static two column layout simply because it's easy. It's easy to divide a space in half. But uh, what we often want to do for interest and uh, to make things a little more exciting visually is to start with a three column grid structure. And even within the same publication, we can go back and forth between a two column structure and a three column structure, even on the same page. But dividing something into an odd number of equal parts is not as easy as we'd like it to be. And we can get out our calculator and divide the distance by three, but then we get uh, kind of funky numbers and, and measurements. And it's hard to set, uh, set our, our grid lines on those measurements. So my way of doing this is uh, utilizing the text tool, the, the type tool, and the text frame option. And so uh, this is, I'll just set it up in a new page, uh, letter size with a half inch margin all the way around. And that gives us a live area, an active area where our, we want our content to go of seven and a half inches. So if you get out your calculator and divide seven and a half by three columns, it's, it, it gives you a weird number. So to avoid that, go to the type tool and just within those margins draw a text box. And then you can either right click in that text box and go to text frame options or you can activate it, highlight it with the text tool and go up under object to text frame options. It'll get you to the same place. And then under general in this top section you'll want to click up to three or whatever odd number you want and then the gutter you want to take down to zero and then just click OK and that instantly divides that width into three precisely equal parts and then all you do is go over to the ruler and drag out a guide and place your guides And then if we just uh, get rid of this text box, which we don't need anymore, we now have that uh, live area divided into three exactly equal columns. So this has helped me save a lot of time, and I hope it helps you save some time. And thanks for watching.